We're now just days away from another budget showdown on Capitol Hill. When Congress returns from recess next week, lawmakers will have just nine days to avoid a shutdown. Joining us now, Politico's budget and appropriations reporter, Caitlin Emma. It's good to see you, Caitlin. All right, here's the thing. It seems to me like the House Speaker is stuck between a rock and a hard place. And right now it's the hardliners trying to get that boulder moving. Right. I mean, this is really the same fight that we've seen all year over government funding, just dragging itself into 2024. Um, you know, basically, Congress left a few weeks ago for the holidays without a deal on an overall government funding framework. So that would be essentially the parameters of a deal that would allow for federal agencies to get updated budgets for the current fiscal year. Um, you know, right now we're operating under a, a continuing resolution, a stopgap that just extends flat funding. So without this deal in place, uh, it's really hard to sort of write, you know, the rest of the spending bills that comprise like a huge government funding deal. And really lawmakers needed this weeks ago. So we are heading into 2024 uh, with, you know, two separate government shutdown deadlines in January and February. And, you know, lawmakers are no closer to just nailing down the basics. What's the incentive for deal making? Uh, <laughs> keeping the government open is a huge priority, you know, for everybody at this point, except maybe hardliners in the House. Um, I think, you know, seasoned Republican appropriators know that uh, this is not a winning message to shut down the government, you know, in trying to get policy concessions or spending cuts or something like that. It's almost never a winning message when you're the party that's blamed for it, you know, particularly heading into an election year. You know, basically, Congress should be able to keep the lights on and stay functional. Uh, but time and time again, we see the same fight where, you know, the two sides are warring over funding. And right now, Speaker Johnson's in a really tough spot, you know, just as former Speaker McCarthy was in, where he's being pulled in one direction by, you know, his right flank and pulled in another direction by moderates. Okay, so what are the sticking points? What areas do they absolutely need to find compromise on in order to keep the lights on? Right. It's kind of an interesting situation that we're in at the moment because um, the two-year debt limit deal that uh, President Biden and former Speaker McCarthy negotiated earlier this year should have done the heavy lifting. You know, that should have set the parameters for a deal, should have made things really easy. Um, you know, of course, it's been anything, but you've had House Republicans, uh, conservatives in the House, like the Freedom Caucus, trying to walk back that deal uh, pretty much for the better part of this entire year. So at the moment, uh, both sides still have to agree to, you know, an overall number for military funding, an overall number for non-defense programs, uh, whether or not to provide any emergency funding, uh, whether or not to include certain policy provisions, how to package the spending bills and pass them. So these are really basic details. Uh, they could otherwise be taken care of by the debt limit deal that was struck earlier this year, but nothing has been easy in this Congress.